hey, hey, what's going on, what's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay for Life TV? JP hollering at you. So this is what I got going on here. So I was checking out a couple of, you know, the Godfathers, Kevin Samuels, and I ran across this one and uh, took a few minutes to, you know, clips to just show this, this nonsense, man. He talks to a lot of women, and a lot of people get defensive towards him. But the things he brings up and says is, is, I mean, he had the women on the show that it's true. It's proven. They say the weirdest shit, man. And and sit back like, we're not like that. But then they get on the show and like, we're exactly like that. So before we spin this thing, let's go ahead, show a little love, hit that red subscribe button, that blue like button. And that little bell that says that notification so you can continue to get the videos as we try to move up to 100, 200 subscribers for the next 30 days. So let's, let's work on that. And I am greatly appreciated, appreciative, excuse me, been eating a little bit. So I'm greatly appreciative of each and every one of you that came on and definitely to my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. All right, so. Let's spin this thing and get it going, and uh, let's see what they should talk about. Standards, you know. Have you been married before? I've been engaged twice to the same person. Engaged the queen, time, y'all. <laughs> the first time I was honest, you know. Not to jump in so quick, but why are women coming and saying they, uh, someone asked to marry them twice and be the same guy? So who is this guy pursuing you so badly that he got down on one knee twice and you still said no? Isn't that weird? I always wondered about that. But I don't know. But y'all 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 quick to jump on and say that like it's some kind of honor, like, oh, somebody wanted me. So I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I told him I wasn't ready <clears throat> the second time. Why marriage now? Exactly, Kevin. Exactly. I felt, I'm being honest, I felt at the time I wasn't ready at the time. But now okay. I'm ready. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". Dress size? I'm sorry? Dress. You notice how when he says dress size, they like, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. They always like stop and pause like, hmm? It's like you don't watch the show, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. You just got to get your mindset on what you're going to lie on. So let's see what this chick say. Size? My dress size, I would say 14. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? Um, well, I actually weighed myself today. I was 213. And why when he always asks? First of all, my wife know her dress size. She boom like that. These women have to think about their dress size. And a lot of them like, oh, I don't know. I I, 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 I don't have really, uh. real. But she had to think about, uh, around 14. And then when they hit the weight, oh, I just weighed myself today. Who the fuck? If you, nobody really check their weight daily unless you doing some stuff. And she's not doing it. I mean, let's be real. You probably about 240. Then you talking about 213, but you said it comfortably as if that's a good weight. Okay, so your man is 355 pounds. That's the way you need to start looking for men, 355 pounds or more. Why would you say that? I'm just curious. Because you're 213 pounds. So you said I have to lose weight to get the mm -hmm. ideal man that I want? That's what yeah, you're saying? Yeah, you do. I'm saying yeah. you're not the ideal woman that men want. You weigh more than a man. That's why two, two, two dot three, y'all. Yeah. And I'm telling you, she's heavier than two thirteen. I'm very confident. I'm very confident. How tall are you again? I'm sorry. How tall again? I'm five Six. four. Five four, ma'am. You are thirty five pounds over the average weight for the average black woman, and she's sixty pounds overweight. I look at her eyes like, hmm. She got to think about it. So you're 213, probably about 240. But either way, you 5'4 over 200 pounds. 
So that's still a lot of weight, guys. Ladies, stop letting other ladies tell you that it doesn't matter. This woman is 35 years old and you over 213, probably 240 pounds, let's be real. But you already at 5'4". Like how did how you let that happen? I mean, oh, oh man, let's let's try the next clip. Let's see what she has to say on the next one. Proposed to me. Is that Beyonce, you the father of one of your children? No, he's not. I met him in um in school. You know, we we so reconnected got, from. But you got three media. children. But how many different men? Two, three. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what men don't seem to understand. Hold up, Kevin. She just slipped that thing there. You're 35, three kids, three baby daddies, 5'4", 213, which probably 240 pounds. That is a lot. That's a lot. And, and yet to go back to like, I know women will say something, probably try to, you know, they'll come after me. Oh, y'all disrupt this. But if you have sons, and this is how it goes, and your son comes home to you and says, Hey, I met this girl. I think I want to marry her. She's has three kids by three different dudes. And your mom, the lady, whoever, you, you're going to go ballistic. You were like, H, no. Let's just be honest. You don't want your son starting out with that type of baggage and you know it's true. You know it's true. So let's just let's just keep it real. How women can go out and have one, two, three husbands because it used to require a husband to have a baby. Right. So you should have one husband, two husbands, three husbands. Right. Was the, was the person who you had your first child with, was he the person you lost your virginity to? Um, there was a circumstance that there was, was the a person you, something. Was, no, not just mm -hmm. the person you've had your first child with. Yeah. What is she talking about? There was a circumstance. He asked him, was he the first dude you've been with? Stop talking around and answer the doggone question. That's the thing I hate. And he has to go so far in debt to get women to just come out and say the simple yes or no. Just, was he also the person you lost your virginity to? That's just a yes or no. No. Okay, so the person you lost your virginity to should have been your husband. Correct. So, why is that so, hard? so you should have had one, two, three, four husbands. So you effectively you're out here at how old again? I'm 35. 35. And you would have been married four times. You would have had one, two, three, four husbands. To not be a virgin, to have three children. Well, can, three I be, can I be? No, no, no. Let me let, okay. let me let me let me let me finish. This is what, this is how human beings have evolved. Yeah. Okay. Just because we make it okay now, still men are saying for a woman to have three children by three different men, that needs to be three husbands. Right. And she had a she had sex. That means the man she married should have been a husband. So right. you're looking for a fifth husband. You're looking for a fifth husband, and you ain't even forty years old. Why should you have? Oh man. Look look at her face. And that's why I stopped right here on her on this part. It the reality is kicking in. You see how uh society has normalized just having kids before marriage to the point where you see it a lot. A lot of women are, are single women have kids. Three and four kids and no marriage. Then they start looking to settle down. I, I'm a, and you see a lot of women that, you know, supposed to be educated and doing all this stuff and their businesses and all this. And they have one or two kids and they say they want to or, you know, all this stuff and they want to get their stuff before they decide to have kids and settle down. They be 37 years old. So you're already in the danger zone for for um, having kids. Then you got to meet someone. You know, you're 35, 36. You still have to meet someone. You have to get to know them. Then that person has to put a ring on your finger. Then you have to talk about having kids. So that's at least four years. 
So you're 39, 40, possibly looking at having kids. Or you already got kids and hook up with a guy and want to have another kid. And it's like, you're going to give him a kid after all this? You already got three kids by three different men, so it'll be a fourth with four kids? They just don't think about it, man. I don't know. Like I said, I just pulled a few clips from this, and uh, I got one more. Let's let's see this shit, man. It's going to end it, so. Do you want any more children? Um, it's questionable. Do you want any more children? That's a yes or a no. Possibly yes, yes. I'm going to say Do yes. Do you want any more children? I'm going to say want, yes. I'm going to say Do yes. you want how many more? Probably just one more. Okay. So at best, your husband would get from being a stepfather, get one meal, honor and respect. He'd get one kid. But he'd have to be the stepfather to one, two, three children. So every dime that he spent, every dime he spent on the kids, he'd have to split for four, three kids and one kid. Because he couldn't just provide for his kid. He'd have to provide for the other ones too, right? Right. So so let's say he had a son and he decided Christmas time came and he had a thousand dollars to spend. Mm -hmm. He'd have to not spend a thousand dollars on his his blood. He'd have to spend 250 on his blood and then spend 750 on some other man's blood. Oh, shit. Does your, does your BD go and buy your husband's kid a Christmas gift? Bye. Hell no. No. So that's what you ladies are asking men to do. Hey, come over here and provide for my not, your non-biological children instead of your biological children. I give you one and an additional meal and some honor and respect. Yeah, this doesn't sound that like good a deal. Oh my goodness. Man, he broke that shit down so plainly. <sighs> and that's how, you know, I look at it. And I, I, and I try to talk, talk to my boys. That's how they look at it. When you providing, when you get with someone to have, especially got multiple kids by multiple fathers. So somebody's going to take that to take up for one of the fathers that's slacking and you know, you might find a good guy that he don't want to see the other kid go, you know, you know, you buying your kids stuff, but these kids don't have anything. So you feel bad. You try to get them something, you know, and it just don't, you just can't keep doing it. You just can't do it. And you asking too much of a guy to come into that picture. And then you want to have another child. And let's say this guy's pretty well off and he can take care of his child with no problem. Got him in nice shoes and games and all this. Then you got these other three over here. Their dads ain't doing nothing for them. So how are you going to work that? You're going to tell him he need to buy these kids stuff too? Now, if he marry you, yeah, you're, gonna, he's, you're looking for him to be their stepdads. But where are they real dads? Because now you're asking him to help with three other men kids. That's what I'm trying to understand. You want this man to not only with your kids, but three other men kids. On top of my kid. So. And I always look at. You know like sports. And you know, my, my, my youngest played sports. So. And that's. It costs a lot of money. Especially if they good. And they doing the travel stuff. And on these different Adidas circuits. And all this other stuff. It costs money. Because a lot of traveling. And hotels. And all this. And if you got three kids. That's good in sports. Or two. And you doing all this stuff. See, the people don't think about they have kids back to back. They don't think about your kids get involved in something. They get into the band. You have girls getting to cheerleading. Cheerleading's very expensive. They don't think about this stuff. They just think about, well, I got kids. I can feed them. When are they going to go to college? That's four kids you got to put through college. Three on her own if she don't get married. That's if their dads help or not. So that's still, you got three kids you got to look at putting through college. She didn't say what she do, but it's a lot, guys, and you have to understand that. And ladies, I mean, not knocking you over. So, you know, you got <clears throat> to just look at the whole scenario. And guys and ladies, whatever, we just got to do better. So the Godfather laid it out. I mean, did an outstanding job on it, of course, as always. 
So props to him and his video. Give him all this credit for it. And with that being said, what's up with Jay for Life TV? And I am out of here. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you all later. Peace.